Welcome back awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today I am reviewing the Bucks Team Trooper set. This came out very recently. This is the B25 Bucks Team Trooper set, the 128 inch scale. Let me open up this box and have a look. I'm excited for this. If you guys haven't checked out so far, check out my review on the Jungle K16 Chapel. Uh, that's such a cool toy man so amazing okay let's have a look at this standard b25 packing posting box with a bit of padding used to be um bubble wrap i think before now they've changed this padding out on the outside of the box then we have our bucks team box set okay let's have a look standard box they do so we don't have any artwork just a picture of the toys very nice looking so two troopers and we get Jack in there too let's open up this bad boy and have a look okay okay again interesting to note previously their boxes had plastic press studs and were taped, which is a bit overkill, so it's quite hard to open. Now they just appear to be taped on the chapel and on this Bucks Team box set here. So I'll just cut this tape off and get inside. Okay, so let's have a look. First things first, let's see what falls out. Ah. Jack, Trooper, 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 and accessories. Okay. So let's look at the Troopers first. I'll come back to Jack in a minute. He says, look at him straight away. Okay, so this is the first team, we, first time, sorry, we've had Bucks team Troopers. They are cute, as you'd expect in this scale. They look pretty awesome too. Uh, the only way you could have made these previously if you had a um, 118 scale original release bob with the uh, gas mask head and helmet but now we actually have a proper trooper release very very nice indeed. There's no Bucks team logo that I can see but that's okay we know they are. Very nice looking. Okay let's have a look at uh, Jack now, the actual named Bucks team character in this set. Let's get this guy standing first. Okay. He does look really nice and surprisingly he does he has four pistols. One, two, three, four. And I believe do they come out? Oh no they are stuck they don't come out which is a shame but never mind at this small scale that would be perhaps asking too much he does look really cool it's a really nice sculpt on his hair and head there gives him that real sort of wild jackman look that we had in the 118 scale very very nice let's look at the accessories this is not a resealable bag, so I'm just going to cut this one. So we have minigun. We saw this before on the Jungle Team troop set. We have two pistols for Jack, a assault rifle, which we've seen previously. We have uh, let me see, another assault rifle, another two pistols, these ones are slightly different. These have the um, part in the front, the guard there, we've seen these previously too. A uh, knife we've not seen, that's a really nice looking knife for this scale. Uh, we have a comms backpack with your phone and here it appears to be a radio attachment but I'm not sure how that attaches just yet I'll have a look on the box in a moment and see let me see
Okay, so. Okay, so the comms attachment is not one piece. This is actually a sprue. These come off. So you have two different types of aerial, or are they the same? No, they are the same, I guess. If you lose one, you've got a spare one. So if I take that off and hope I'm right because I've broken it, uh, that will fit on the back. There's a little hook, has a little gap that should just fit into there. I'm assuming, I'm hoping. Let's have a look. It's fitting, but it's not being very secure. Maybe it needs to fit slightly further in or tighter. Okay, I'm not quite sure what. Okay, so I can put it in, but I want to put it in a slightly different way. I'm sure the way I'm doing it is not correct. But it may be the way it is. That should be how I think it is. So I'm going to use my... I'll use a drill. I'm not going to drill, I just need to push it in a slightly. I've got it in like this. I hope you can see that on the camera. Yeah. But I think that this hook part should be inside and the rest should be on top. That's how you'd imagine it would look. But I'm having difficulty in getting that in securely. Okay. As soon as I say that, I'll get it done. So, yeah. Hook part is underneath, the other part goes on top that looks really cool and then you've got this little radio here this handset which can attach to the side now this appears to be slightly different to the one we have the other day but i'll look at that in a moment okay so this can attach to the back of one of your troopers okay so now we've got our radio guys sorted out that's really nice Spare aerial is nice, I'll keep that safe. I am loving this knife. Let's give this guy a knife, make him a close combat expert. Okay, he looks really, really nice with that knife. That's a lovely shaped knife in there. I'll be tempted to maybe paint that silver, you know, and weather it a little bit perhaps, but that looks looks really good. Um, then we come to Jack to get him with his two pistols. It's a shame he can't take out, but the issue is that would be too, these would be too bulky, these little pistols here, if they were on his holsters there. But they have done an accurate representation of the 118 character, so I am happy nonetheless. Okay, so pistol one and pistol two. He is a rather cool looking character. Okay. So with the release of this Bucks team set, that means we now have two named characters from the Bucks team. So in the Jungle Trooper set, we had Steel, who's here with his rocket launcher. And now we have Jack. Now if I compare the two together... They match, but the colouring on the shoulder joints is slightly lighter in Jack, that brown, on his shoulder, on his uh, gloves, is slightly lighter than on steel. But the knee pads are the same, but other than that, they are matching in terms of colour, and they do look 
pretty awesome and I can't wait for the rest of the bucks team to come out in this scale. And it also included a little hood on the back of his head, same with still. This is an awesome little set, adding some name characters to the B25 uh, line. And again, it's nice getting the extra guns, particularly if you've uh, got the stealth teams that were the first releases of the B25, the exclusive stealth teams for the speeder and stronghold, because they didn't come with weapons for the pilots, for the drivers. So now you've got spare weapons, you can start arming up your other troopers. Uh, these are really nice. Let me give my radio man his, his gun. Okay, now, if I'm looking at my jungle team, I don't recall seeing the aerial for him, but fortunately I have a spare in the stealth team, so I'll attach this aerial to there, and I'll do that now, so that's nice to know, so I don't remember seeing this inside the, inside the chapel box, so whether that was missing, or whether they put two be because it was missing or I just missed it, I don't know. Okay, that's now attached. Okay. So, compared to the jungle team, uh, you have more accessories, I think. The jungle team was the pistol, the assault rifle, and the minigun times two, plus rocket launcher, the case, and three rockets. This one, you have one minigun, you have two assault rifles, you have two normal pistols, two jack pistols, you have the knife, and you have the radio set. This is a great little set, a great little army builder. If you're going to buy it, buy it fast, because these will sell out quite quickly like the jungle team did. Purely because you're going to army build in this scale, this is what you want. You know, two boxes of these, and you've got yourself four normal troopers, and you've got the first two of the... Um, named characters and you can swap and change around parts to change them if you want but I can see people army building these because I will probably do it myself uh, great little set great little action figures uh, if you want to get an idea of the scale that I'll even measure I've got a ruler here they are about two and a half inches and just over or just about six centimeters now just over six centimeters and that is really, really nice place to go. I use a, a 118 next to, you can see there, look like kids compared to this 118 scale figure. This is awesome action toys signing out saying, please like, share and subscribe. And stay tuned for more awesome action toy videos coming soon. Okay, keep collecting and stay happy. Bye-bye.